Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing another sit down chatty video. I will be sharing with you ways in which you can add value to your property or to your investment. Um, most of us dream of one day owning our own property. Buying a home is a major investment, so you wanna make sure that you do your research before you sign on that dotted line. I highly suggest purchasing in a well-developed area or a highly sought after area. So it could be your Eastern Road, your Sandy Port, your Delo Port, or even Cable Beach. So this way, let's say in the future you want to sell the property or even put the property on the market for rent. Those areas are highly in demand and rentals in the West does go really quickly. So you definitely wouldn't have a problem renting uh, if you live in that area. Not every property is turnkey or move and ready. So you may find that you have to do a bit of work on the property that you buy, which is fine because I find that you do get a better deal on a property if it needs a bit of TLC. So to add value, say in the first year, I highly recommend renovating your kitchen and bathrooms if they do need work. Um, you will definitely see a return on your investment. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything too expensive. There are tons of durable, affordable options when it comes to you know the cabinets, the countertops, the tiles you use, all of that good stuff. So definitely you don't have to break the bank to have a really nice kitchen or a really nice bathroom. You also wanna keep a more neutral color palette. So maybe your white, your beige, your gray, nothing too bright, nothing too you know, bold and in your face. And trust me, I've seen it all. So I can tell you, don't do it. Flooring is also a major bonus when it comes to adding value to your property. A lot of people really hate carpeting. I've never had a client who wanted a house filled with carpet. It's, um, it's not really healthy. So if you have allergies or anything like that, you won't want carpeting in your house. So another option is wood flooring or tile flooring. They also have the um, tiles that almost looks like wood. They're durable, affordable, as opposed to maybe porcelain tile or any other expensive tile. So they're, they're definitely cheaper options on the market. You just have to do your research. Also, there is um, a store, Nassau Tile. You, they have a wide range of options. That's actually where I got these photos from. So yeah, you can definitely check them out for your flooring options. Air conditioning. The summer months are really brutal here in my opinion. So that's something that you definitely, definitely need. Now you can go with um, the ductless units or central air conditioning. In my personal, personal opinion, I find that ductless units are more energy efficient. So there's no point in having the whole house um, cool if you're not if you're only in one room so if you're in the living area there's no point in having the bedrooms um, powered or any other part of the house for that matter so if you do want to save a few uh, hundred bucks on electricity I would definitely recommend ductless units or if you were that baller type and don't mind you can definitely you know get your central air conditioning another return on investment must is a generator I'm gonna put it out there. We have a major issue with power outages here. So if you have that extra dollar where you can invest in a generator, trust me, you need it. You will thank me and you will definitely benefit from it because when we have uh, power outages in the summer, you have an air conditioning. You don't have to worry about anything. While, you know, John over there is like busting sweat all night long, can't even get a proper sleep. But yeah, definitely invest in a generator. If you have the funds too, you can definitely get your return on investment. And you can even ask for a few extra dollars in the event that you wanna put this property on the market for rent or even for sale. So yeah, definitely invest in a generator. I highly recommend that. The floor plan of your home also makes a major difference. So if you can remove a wall just to open it up, then you know that's an option. I find that over the past few years, we've been having um, homes are being built actually with you know the open entertaining um, layout in mind. So you don't you're not secluded from your family, your guests in the event that you're entertaining. You know it's open. The living room flows into the dining room, into the kitchen. So you are involved with everything that's going on. Also, how you decorate and stage your home is quite important as well. So you want to pick a theme, whether it be traditional, uh, modern, or if you're those you know hippie 
um, person, you can feel free, but just keep the colors neutral. Um, keep in mind that let's say maybe in a few years you want to put the property on the market for sale or rent. You know, a lot of people don't want to be bothered to, you know, painting a whole room because you have a purple wall. Uh, no one likes purple wall. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Just keep it neutral and simple, but very fresh. And finally, maybe something that not a lot of people think about, but I would definitely say uh, landscaping do add value to your property. Um, a nicely manicured lawn with flowers, shrubs, I don't know, tropical plants, trees, um, can be quite expensive. So if you have a nicely um, manicured grounds, then it's something that definitely adds value to your, uh, your property. A few years ago, I sold a property in Coral Harbor for $175,000. And at the time, it was a really great buy. The property had, the house itself had a massive hole in the roof. The kitchen was non-existent. The bathroom was totally not even usable. You couldn't use it. You couldn't do anything with it. And the lot was approximately 10,000 square feet or more. And the building was approximately 1,600 square feet. But I'm saying this to say, those clients bought the property for 175,000. They did major work to it. I'll put some photos of um, the before and after. So um, if I had to do an educated guess, maybe today it's valued maybe 300,000, if not more. But yeah, it's, it do, the, whatever you buy does not have to be move-in ready, like I mentioned before. So if you have the time, the energy, and the finances to buy something that needs work and you know add value to the property by doing some of the stuff that I just mentioned. We've come to the end of this video. I hope this information was helpful, useful. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video, you think it was informative. And also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.